Um, you spent seven years in prison. More than seven. So seven and a half the last time. Twelve all total. Twelve total. Seven, seven and a half the last time. The epic journey of Charles S. Dutton is a tale woven with both triumphs and tribulations. The beloved actor will forever stay in our hearts for his marvelous portrayal as Rock in the hit sitcom Rock. He was a character actor known for his acting roles in Alien 3, The Piano Lesson, and was known for his leading role in Rock, which lasted for three seasons. He was really a great character actor and was a joy to see him on screen. Yet, many fans are wondering what could have possibly happened to him so he disappeared from the screens. That's not a secret that his life wasn't an easy path. At the tender age of 16, Dutton found himself embroiled in a life-altering altercation that resulted in the tragic demise of another individual and sent him behind the bars. His time in jail began the start of his transformation. And although prison can change a person for worse, for the actor, it was the time when he turned his life around. You've got to try to discover or rediscover your own humanity. Known for his violent behavior within the prison walls, Dutton even spent a week in solitary confinement with nothing but a book to keep him company. Upon his release from solitary, he seized every opportunity to pursue his dreams of redemption and transformation. With unwavering determination, he embarked on a journey of self-discovery, claiming he wasn't that juvenile delinquent anymore. I used to be a hardcore, hard-hearted guy. Once you make the decision to change, all kinds of things happen. His release from incarceration in 1976 marked a new chapter in his life as he went on to earn a bachelor's degree from Towson State University the same year, laying the groundwork for his eventual acceptance into Yale School of Drama in 1980, which he attributed to three key factors. Is about perseverance, is about discipline and endurance. But it was while in prison when Dutton discovered his passion for acting and directing. When he was sent to solitary confinement, he was allowed one book and by accident, he grabbed an anthology of black playwrights once. I was in the hole for six days and was allowed to take one book with me. I reached for a revolutionary book, but I accidentally picked up this anthology of black playwrights. As he liked to joke, his acting career began in prison. He would leave it and go on to build a successful career in the performing arts, including his famous portrayal of Mary Garbage Man in the 90s TV show Rock. Trash cans for the rest of my life before I take money. As the curtain rose on this new chapter of his life, Dutton could scarcely have imagined the trials and tribulations that lay ahead. Little did he know that his journey on Rock that made him famous across the entire country and earned him the public admiration would be fraught with challenges and unforeseen obstacles, forever shaping the trajectory of his career. The show is something all Americans could relate to. As Rock and Eleanor worked toward the American dream of purchasing their own home, they tackled subjects pertaining to inner city life. But despite the show's success on the screen, behind the scenes, tensions rose as Charles clashed with white writers and network executives over the show's direction. You don't make a lot of money, but you get to do great work. You get to do what you set out right. as a young artist to do, great right. work. After the total success of season one, Charles even found himself questioning his decision to appear on the show in the future, expressing his hopes for more guidance to develop into a TV actor and his discomfort with the script's comedic tone. As he confessed in one of his interview, I didn't want this show to be a negative image of black people internationally. I wanted to project an image of strength and intelligence and intelligence and heart and also a warrior-like image. Charles insisted on addressing social issues affecting black neighborhoods. When sassy sitcom centering on radio and television personality Martin Payne, Martin Payne, Martin premiered in August 1992, offering the kind of comedy Fox wanted rock to explore, Charles pushed back, accusing networks of rewarding black actors who played buffoons while silencing voices like his that injected social conscience into sitcoms about African-American life. You know what I mean? Some dumb stuff for a million dollars. They pay you to do that. Right. In the third season of the show, changes were made, including switching the show's airing day and filming without a live audience. Charles took on the role of executive producer, but continued to face resistance from the network and writers. With all the changes that the network clearly didn't welcome, the fate of rock hung in the balance, and when news came that the show was canceled. After just three seasons, petitions to bring it back flooded the country. The network claimed low ratings as the reason for cancellation, saying that Rocks ranked 117th among 124 shows. Fox says it made a decision simply based on that fact. But some believed political and social justice messages that Charles tried to address in the TV show were the real reasons that influenced the network decision. Listen, America's gonna be the way it's gonna be. We all know that, mm -hmm. you know, that ain't changing. Rock fearlessly tackled issues surrounding race, inequality, and systemic injustice, shedding light on the harsh realities faced by black communities. And until today, fans sent outpouring love for Charles for fight against the powerful network to bring an honest representation of black community to the screen. As one person commented, one of my favorite actors. I always knew his story and it always inspired me not to quit as I've been through some of the same things. And another user added, sadly, he has retired involuntarily. He's faced several health issues that has taken him away from his true love, acting. He's been trying to get back on his feet and I pray he does. 
Apparently, Dutton's views were too bold and modern for the network. Back then, certain industry bigwigs were uncomfortable as they strayed from the typical lighthearted content, often favored by mainstream television. It's been suggested that Fox, hesitant to embrace such politically charged narratives, may have opted to remove Rock with Dutton's agenda entirely. Unfair as it may sound, but that's the country we live in. Meanwhile, Charles accused the network of washing its hands of Rock long before the cancellation. Fox Entertainment president insisted he liked and respected the show, but could wait no longer for the series to find the audience it needed to survive. Yet Dutton was of another opinion. As he boldly claimed in his interview, I just find it interesting that a show Fox always said couldn't find an audience was never showcased in order to gain one. Rock wasn't the only black show that got the boot. South Central in Living Color and The Sinbad Show were also canceled. Additionally, Charles ended his personal relationship by filing for divorce from his wife, Debbie, after five years of marriage, and it all happened just five months after his show Rock was canceled. <laughs> uh, you know, she is out of her darn mind. Dutton described his relationship with Fox as strained, and that tension developed because of his insistence that he rewrite episodes, particularly storylines centered on race. An example is the episode in which Joey dates a white woman. As he mentioned, Fox bigwigs were getting his advice that was contradictory with the black character, and they pushed him to create an unrealistic portrayal of the characters. If it were up to them, we'd all be buffoons, always laughing. Well, I commend Fox for putting us on for three seasons, they wanted us to be colorless, to leave our race at the door. How do you do that? Looking back on his time on the show, Charles told the Washington Post he was sometimes impatient and arrogant with Fox and behaved irresponsibly in the way he communicated with them. His battle for showing his own vision was lost, and after the show's cancellation, Charles Dutton's career took a turn, but it was far from over. He diversified his acting portfolio via TV series, theater, and independent films, proving his talent as a performer. Just discovered what you were born to do. In 2000, Dutton seized the opportunity to direct the HBO miniseries, The Corner, which delved into the struggles of a black family living in West Baltimore. The show got high ratings and praise from fans and critics. The show earned Charles an Emmy for outstanding directing. The success of The Corner not only solidified Dutton's position in the industry, but also caught the attention of renowned writer David Simon. Simon's collaboration with Dutton led to the creation of The Wire. Dutton's involvement further elevated his status as a respected actor in Hollywood. In addition to his television achievements, Dutton made waves on the big screen, garnering two more Emmys for Outstanding Guest Actor. To win a talent show in prison, then 30 years later, winning my first... With over 110 credits to his name in movies and TV shows, including 42 as an actor, Dutton has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. He earned his retirement from the industry as well as respect of Black community. Many people say he has nothing to prove to Hollywood or anyone. As one person commented, Mr. Dutton has always been an inspiration to me. I loved his show, Rock. He set the bar high as an actor and as a human being. And another user added, I salute this man for how he was able to turn his life around and become an actor. His story is very inspiring. From his early struggles in incarceration to his ascent as a Hollywood superstar and the darling of many fans, Dutton has proved his independence, resilience, and strength. But folks, what's your opinion on this marvelous actor and man? For which of his TV projects will you remember him most? Drop your comments below and don't forget to check my other videos.